Welcome into my studio. On this video I'm going to show you a brief overview of um, this pastel seal demonstration but I'm giving away the the whole one and a half hour video absolutely free on my Patreon art channel. You just got to go over there and I'll put full details in the description below and also at the end of the video. As I said it's just absolutely free. I put it over on my Patreon because I've got hundreds of videos on there and I'd just like you to see what's on offer just to make sure you're not missing out go way over a thousand members so hope to see you there soon I've got my pastel matte paper it's kind of a sienna color transferred my drawing over onto it and um, I'm just starting to put in some of the darker elements so when you put the drawing over onto a pastel matte paper there's no need to seal it or do anything like that I'm just using the paper just as it comes out of the packet. Now the eye on this is going to be very different from a normal um, type of eye that we've probably tackled in the past. It's very very flat. You can't really make out the pupil in there. There's lots of things going on with it. Obviously it's very wet also. So as I say on most of my tutorials if things are a little bit confusing then what we just need to do is draw and paint what we see in the reference and you can see why I've used toned paper here so easily that highlight shows up the tone that the sienna paper is acting as a mid-tone it's much much easier to judge what you've got to do to the point that unless it was a very very vibrant subject and you've seen me do the bee with the flowers and that was vibrant I would even go to the point of if I got white pastel matte paper I'd actually put a layer of paint on it just to tone it down I, I really wouldn't use the white at all so just building up those areas Conti stick again. You can see you can get quite sharp edges on those with uh, sharpening them with uh, a little bit of sandpaper. And I'm just working back. Darks to lights, lights to darks doesn't really matter all that much on this eye. And I'm also trying to punch the colours up a bit as well. So you can see I've, I've added a bit more blue in that uh, shadowy area under the top section of the eye. If I want to really blend an area, push it into that paper, that's when I pull out these these um, torsions or stumps. The soft ones will give more of a, a blend. It saves you wearing your fingers out as well if you're doing a lot of blending. You can see I'm really don't need a lot of pressure with those. So if you want to move the pastel a lot, that's when I use those those stumps. And you can you can uh, clean them really by just rubbing them across some microfiber cloth. And they're so inexpensive. Just keep a set for your lights and a and a set for your darks. That's all you really need to do. So speeding this section up, and you can see I'm just putting in mid-tones first, general lights in there as well, all looks very messy then I just blend it all together to get that softness that's essential for this seal, it's a really slick subject, something I haven't tackled before, and then starting to put in a few of these creamier tones. You're not always going to have the exact colour you want, so that's where you do like I've done there and just put a couple of different colours down together and you blend them together with your finger to get that mix. And there's certainly no formula or science for that, it's a case of give it a go and uh, pluck up a bit of courage or try some on some scrap paper to test out first. But I find if you're roughly right, that's when we can come back in and refine later. This uh, top section is really 
the critical part to try and get that light reflected on it so lots of those blues and like purple hues you need to get these uh, browns in there these kind of sienna colors as well ochre colors so that would be the actual probably the dry fur color pretty much just check in out a couple of different pencils on there because sometimes obviously when you see the pencil in your rack pack whatever you're keeping it in it looks a bit different sometimes actually on the drawing might come out lighter might come out darker so that's where I just put a couple of small marks on to try it out first so for me to get that that kind of color glow on the top of the head that bounce light onto the wetness I need to get that fur on there first and then put the wetness those blues actually on top of it because that's what's happening in nature that's what is so much easier to do in pastel in my opinion to be able to layer those colors on top just as it's happening actually in nature actually on the subject itself so that's why pastels and oils make so much sense to me because I can do what I'm actually seeing I'm not reserving light areas at all I'm able to put the lights on top over the top of this under layer so you can see I'm still leaving some of that underdrawing to show through that's acting as the darker elements the darker fur deeper down the shadowy areas just going a bit darker here obviously I can put you know some of these darker elements and areas back on top if I want to or in between the lighter strokes I've just done as I mentioned got the full version of this over one and a half hours long over on my patreon art channel and I've got lots more details about patreon on the very end of this video just wanted to quickly mention my patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction it's packed full of pastel videos oil videos as well and those videos are being added to new ones every single month I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies and I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings. I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details you see everything I do how I create my work. But it's not just for beginners it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well and this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details tips and techniques and as mentioned I've got lots of oil videos on there too so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just four dollars now over a thousand members strong Hope to see you there soon.